So in InDesign, just as an illustrator, you can use a clipping mask to put images inside of objects or even text. And we're going to take a look at that now. So if you go to File and then you choose Place, and you choose the image you want to use, and you place it inside your InDesign page, you can see that InDesign itself makes a sort of frame for your image to be in. But we want something else. I'm going to make a ellipse, the size of the cookie, uh, using my spacebar to freely move around. Something like this. And then I'm going to take my selection tool, deselect the frame, select my image I want to use, and I'm going to cut it using Ctrl or Command X. And then I'm going to select my object again, which I want to use as a clipping mask. And I'm going to File, Place. Uh, I'm going to go to Edit, Paste in 2. As you can see now, my cookie has been placed inside of my shape and it acts as a clipping mask. And you can still edit your shape. You can move around your image you used. That's no issue whatsoever. Alternatively, if I make a ellipse I want to use and I keep that ellipse, ellipse selected and then I go to file place and select my image, it places it automatically inside of your selected object. So that's another option. I'm going to delete all this and say you want to use multiple objects, which is also possible to do. I'm going to create multiple ellipses, take my selection tool again, and I'm going to select them all by just dragging on top of all of them or selecting them using the shift key. Once again, if you have an image already already inserted into your document, you can Ctrl Command X to cut it and place it into, or you can select your object. And when you have them all selected, you can go to Object, Parts, and choose Make a Compound Path. And just as an illustrator, InDesign now sees this as one object, not multiple objects. And because they're one object, you can now use them all three as a clipping mask by going to File and with them still selected, choose Place and then choose your image you want to use or in case your image was already inside of your document, you select your image and you Ctrl Command X to cut it and then choose Place into with your object selected. Now the last option you have is to use a text as a clipping mask and I'm going to make a text and I'm going to call it let's say cookies and I'm just going to tweak my text a bit so that it's easier to see what we're going to do next. So I have my text. Now with your text, you first have to create outlines, much like an InDesign uh, illustrator. And you can do that by going by selecting your text and then going to type create outlines. Now, with your outlines created, much the same as the previous two, keep it selected, go to file, choose place, and choose the image you want to place in there. Or if you already have the image in your document, Control Command X to cut it, select your text, and then paste into. But as you can see now, this doesn't really look good, and you can make it look better by right clicking this and then going to fitting and choose fit frame proportionally. Or you go to fitting and you choose fit content proportionally. And you can do the same with the objects we made before to make your your image fit better into your objects or into your text like this one. So that was a quick video on how you can use a clipping mask in Adobe InDesign with one object, with multiple objects, and even with text. 
Let me know in the comments below if you liked this video. Be sure to like it if you did. Press the subscribe button if you want to see more of my videos going live every Wednesday and Thursday. And for now, stay creative. Thank you very much for watching my video and I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you.